but I need the Warriors. Hey, Joel. Check this out. Look at that. Work it to help you, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> looked like he was trying to I look had good. Dark, I had bright green shoes on with black socks, oh. black shorts, and a dark green uh, fleece. So you might say that the trash bag was invoked. The trash bag set the whole thing off, <laughs> basically. Yeah. It, it wasn't much until you put the trash bag on. Before that, I just looked like anybody else. Yeah. Look at all of the mountains emerging in the background. Every trip needs a good, went the wrong way, and turn around. There we go. Seems like a better spot. Pinnacles is now a national park, as opposed to as a, opposed to a national a monument. county park. No national park. Okay. Um, and I guess there's actually some history there. Uh, Muir Woods, Pinnacles. I can't remember the other one. We're all made national monuments by Teddy Roosevelt in like the same week, uh, like a hundred years ago. In any case. Our whole lives, it's been a national monument, and if, it's always felt like a nice state park. It's just got that feel to it, to me. Anyways, a couple years ago, they slapped the label of national park on it. <laughs> Dang it. Darn that lens. <laughs> Jenny. We should like go here, we should go here, and then we should come down Condor Gulch and then come back on the High Peaks Trail and Rim Trail. It's not that big of a head wound, but... The Lord blessed me with a three foot hair, ingrown hair. <laughs> we got that one already. <laughs> okay. Hi, this is Josh from Shama Sandals, and today we are running at Pinnacles National Park. Um, we are going to be starting here at the uh, west entrance to the park. Um, we, came, we came in through uh, Soledad, and um, so we're on this western side, and today we're going to be running up in those mountains, the <laughs> pinnacles, Pondor if you will, Treg. and uh, we're going to be taking a lot of different trails, but the first one we're going to be taking is the Juniper Canyon Trail, and we're going to get up into the high peaks in a little bit. Sean would love it. This part, going uphill. We're running up the Juniper Canyon Trail, and it's an awesome day. Actually, we're gonna stop really quick. Look at these Whoa, canyon dang. walls. This is awesome stuff. And uh, Joel, how's your head wound? Pretty good. Today I'm wearing my Jerusalem Cruisers, uh, and they're doing great actually. Um, this kind of terrain they're fine for. Made it to the top of this little ridge. We're probably like halfway up the canyon right now. So cool, we get to the top and all the pinnacles here on this side. Some really cool views of the canyon and all these rock formations. Now we're gonna take the tunnel trail via tunnel to the high peaks and Joel will be translating everything into Spanish. <laughs> the funny thing is that before Joel's head wound, he couldn't speak a lick of Spanish. <laughs> but for the last two days, you can't stop him. Es la verdad. Sick move, dude. Very pretty. 
It's called a thousand needles point. Thousand needles point? Yeah. Really? No. <laughs> so the pinnacles is basically an an old volcano. And what constitutes the pinnacles is um, portions of the rim of the volcano that are that are still here. Or the High Peaks Trail. So we're sitting right here in the top of the Pinnacles. That's east. That's toward Central California and San Joaquin Valley. And off that way, you can see um, that's the Salinas Valley. And uh, John Steinbeck actually wrote about that, the Long Valley. His little collection of short stories, and then like Carmel is on the other side of that, and Big Sur, and and all that kind of stuff. They've shaped the steps like bear claws. Yeah, that's what they intended. I don't this think is, so. This, this is kind of ridiculous. You don't is think this the Chase Rawlings there, monument? <laughs> Look at that. That's Jock crazy. Up. Again, half dome is allowed. Yeah, that's true. Well, not as much anymore. You have to get a permit now and stuff. I know, I did it though, and it's still as sketchy as ever. Oh yeah, I did it before they had the permits. I can't believe they changed it though, that stinks. It stinks. You pretty much get it though if you... I know you get it if you ask for it, but still. Wow, super steep. We're running down the east side a little bit. We're gonna actually turn around at the Condor Trail. But for now, we're getting some good views. The Hollister is up that way. Every little spot on this trail there has been one incredible view after another and kind of dive back, back below the, the top of the peaks. You can't see a view and then you get to the top again and it's another amazing view. So I highly recommend this. We just finished our run. Um, we ran about five to five and a half miles, and it was some pretty steep terrain, huh, Joel? Yeah. You started to get woozy on the way back? I'm still woozy. So is it the head wound or the elevation gain? I think it's the uh, head wound. So anyways, it was really a cool run. If you can see right behind us, just all through the peaks, up in the, um, up in the pinnacles, it was uh, Let's peak towards the camera. really cool. Some great views and some good running. It is Elevation a 1,200 gain. foot gain, but yeah. yeah. Anyway, flat land running. Try it in the spring or the fall. Anyways, thanks for running with us. Pretty annoying. <laughs>